So we have Smart Range. Today what you see here is called Smart Range. It's a new range that we believe can solve 90% of the sealing and bonding works on site. Today I will explain to you what is silicon, what is acrylic, what is PU and what is hybrid. All these are referred to sealants. It's like when you say Pampers, it's actually a brand, right? But what you refer is diapers. So people when say silicon, silicon is actually referred to sealant. So in fact, behind sealants, there is four main technologies. So all I need to you, all I need to you to know today is what is the characteristic of each of them. Only then you will know where to use and how to use. And when you see the problem, then you quickly identify what are the product. Technology that I want to share is very simple technology we call Acclick. Acclick, which is a lot of people refer this as a paintable silicon. I don't want to hear that if somehow you hear customers say, I want to buy paintable silicon, correct them, laugh them. Hey, hello sir, you know silicon is hydrophobic or not? Hydrophobic means cannot be painted. Then you listen, start listening to you. Oh, what is hydrophobic? Can you explain to them and this is acrylic sealants, this is can this is silicon, silicon cannot be bent. Then you can have a chance or opportunity to show your professionalization, to show your know-how in that. Okay? So this is acrylic. Acrylic is a very simple technology which one differences with amongst all other technologies. You see I got silicon acrylic PU hybrid. These three comparing with acrylic got one differences. All three are using moisture cure. Moisture cure. Ah. How acrylic cure? Acrylic very special. Acrylic cure by evaporation of its self water. The keluar kan demi air, baru dia cure. So that's why a lot of acrylic sealants, we will see a concave joint, like string. We call it string. Most of it we have. It's just percentage like ten percent, twenty percent, or even more. The lesser the quality, the lower the quality the better, the, the greater the shrinkage. So we don't want that. That's why you will see when people do silicon, eh, when they do acrylic, ah, will they use water to tool or not? No. Because itself already got waters. So normally they will just do already, then the tool. Then you will wait, it cure. Once it cure already, you can paint. So for acrylic itself, it's very simple items to be understand whereby it's actually water-based product very good for painting it's ideally for interior gap interior gap uh, or any crack in the in-house interior exterior can or not as long as the area doesn't have continuous water it's okay but if, if you see that place got water go in uh, then you don't want to use that so what is so different our product comparing with others we have one product which is called A3 True Six Fill A Gap Classics it's also a uh, acrylic sealants can be painted, but also uh, it got some movement capabilities, which means comparing with among the markets, it's considered softer than others, but it's still about the same. I would say. So we we I call this me too product. People have I have, people sell I sell. Okay, so let's say if you want to stand out from others today. Uh, since you already have this, now I want to have a better product. Do you have? Yes, we do have. We have A330. A330 is also an acrylic product, but it's much flexible. If I use this uh, on a cabinet, the cabinet you will open, right? You put things right. After you do the join line, would you see hairline crack? Uh? Possible. Uh? Because it's, when it dries up already, uh, if it doesn't have movement, it will see crack, hairline crack. But if you use this one, it won't. Because it's very flexible. How flexible? How do we determine flexible? We use ASTM C719 to test it. We test already the sealants on the concrete and on the aluminium, on the glass, then we do, do the test. How many percent you can go? In the market, among the market, uh, highest I heard is 12.5% for acrylic sealants. You know how much we do? We do 25%. So which means every 10mm of the gap, instead of 
1.25 we can we can move one times better 2.5 mm like this okay which mean that is why this is much solid product to be presented to your customers when you need to have a standout effect okay so let's say today if you have a customer say or oh, uh, i'm a contractor now i'm doing a bungalow house for my client so i already buy this for my exterior interior can i also use this yes you can also use this but what if i want to have a value engineering i want to improve the cost i want to make my cost down but i don't want to compromise any performance then you can introduce this because this 25 percent right this is also 25 percent so we smash so in a window inside and outside is that a one system yes so can you accept outside is top point five inside is top uh, outside is 25 inside is top point five you know right so we must tally ma. so this is the only product you can go in when you go in together it make their cost much lower and you help them without compromising any performance so that will be the key point of it so at click we do it for aesthetic hygienic and similar finishes professional finishes all these insect la, in the cupboards la, in the window aluminium interior frame la, uh, psychicals la, all this we all can do okay so I click very simple what you need to bear in mind is paintable paintable is ideally for those more crack you can fill up with the A326 if you need a better product A330 okay so remember don't use water to do it uh, because it's water based it will shrink and one one last thing is that uh, as long as there is no water continuous water go for it you still can use interior and exteriors okay so this will be a very simple and economical product for interiors